we have Ruben and Amrita. So you guys are going to be hosting next year's Hamgood Internationals in Houston. So what goes into coordinating such a big event like this? Wow, that's a very uh, great question. Uh, actually, just looking at what transpired here in New Jersey, uh, you kind of get a flavor of the effort, the magnitude of work that's involved. Um, it takes upwards of hundreds of volunteers uh, to make a program like this successful, uh, in part because we have so many guests coming from all over the world, actually. It, it, we call it an international function for a reason, just because uh, we have uh, guests from London, now from Africa, uh, and all over the United States. So um, the coordination has to be on multitude of levels, uh, providing accommodations for our guests at the hotel. But then uh, apart from that, we have to uh, make sure they have transportation to and from the hotel when they arrive. And, uh, and of course, our emphasis usually is on making sure that the, uh, uh, the focus always remains on the, uh, on the, remains on the kids, the children. Uh, because the function involves uh, speech competitions as well as uh, Kirtan competition as well as uh, the Pantik digital video program now. So all of these things uh, are a huge task and uh, it does really require a army of people. So how many people do you think you're going to end up having to host in Houston next year? Uh, we expect anywhere from uh, 600 to 750 uh, out, out of town guests. Uh, then plus our local uh, Sangha, uh, which could be about 150 to 200 more. So uh, our expectation is we should be prepared to uh, handle about a thousand total. Okay, that's, that's a lot of work that has to go into that. Okay, so, um, so of, of, of those 900 to 1,000 people that he was mentioning, uh, you know, you're talking about uh, kids that have done an incredible amount of work over the year, whether it's through speeches or whether it's through Gurmat Sangeet Girtin. Um, so we're talking about uh, 250 to up to about possibly even 300 the participants that are just the participants, right? Uh, so the other portions are, of course, all their families are so welcome uh, to come as well. That's, that's what we want to be a nice, jolly event. But these kiddos, uh, they, they put in so much time. So what part of what we thought was very youth kid-centric type of event. So who better than to really try to take charge is the youth, right? Youth are up and coming, getting smarter and smarter every generation, right? Because you guys have all these things at your fingertips uh, and so everything is just kind of fast and running. And so youth is a big part of what we have to lead the charge. And they'll have the full support, of course, right, of everyone. But um, in terms of the ideas and the innovations of what's coming up next and what's um, up, you know, just, just really kind of on, on the tip of everything, that's really what we're trying to bring forth with this next event um, is for them to really kind of take charge uh, with, it, with the entire thing. So lots of youth-based activities, right, um, so to keep it nice and fun and exciting. So, mm -hmm. so this year it was, it's in New Jersey right now, and we saw them make it unique to this area. They brought people on a ferry ride and they saw they went sightseeing in New York City. So what are you guys planning to do to make it this internationals unique for Texas? Oh you want us to give our secret away, huh? Well that's a that's uh, that's an interesting question. Uh, I'll let you take it. Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> um, so no, absolutely, Texas is, is larger than life, right? So we're trying to keep it, keep it Texas slash Punjab, right? Uh, so we have some really fun events that are going to be coming up um, within there. Uh, are, are we... Yeah, I mean, you can let us let them yeah, know what our we're theme gonna, is. Yeah. Uh, so you, you've heard of a very popular song, Deep in the Heart of Texas. Right? So our theme for this up and coming 2020 event is deep in the heart of Tex 6. Right? So here it comes. Right? Be ready for it. Uh, but that's, that's where we're going with that. Yeah. yeah, so just to piggyback on what Amrita said, uh, with this Texas uh, uh, culture, with the rich culture of Punjab, uh, what we're going to try to do to make it unique is blend and infuse both of these cultures together and give our guests an experience of uh, what, it uh, what it feels like for a Punjabi or a Sikh to live in, in Texas. So we hope to cover that event, like we covered this event maybe, but 
thank you and good luck on planning and hosting this huge event. So thank you for talking to us. Thank you so much. Thank you.